Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Our lecture today is on the common parasitic disease, uh, the most common uh, till few uh, years ago. It is schistosomiasis. Uh, schistosomiasis uh, or uh, the bilharz -Har diseases uh, is a very common disease in Egypt uh, discovered uh, for, uh, at uh, Memos uh, of Pharaohs in the Qudama al Masriyin. Uh, so it is very uh, endemic disease in Egypt. It is uh, considered an endemic disease because very long time ago it is present. Here in this uh, picture, uh, the life cycle is uh, uh, very informative and we have here uh, two uh, a couple of schistomyces which is a trematode leaf either in mesenteric, uh, mesenteric veins or vesical veins, which is uh, about the urinary bladder, and uh, these uh, veins are invaded with uh, the uh, adult worms, which uh, migrate uh, in these veins and uh, put their eggs along the lumens which penetrate the lumen and find an exit in the following in the urine uh, or stool in the uh, in the case of the cycle uh, means it was its eggs uh, and get out through urine which is schist to my hematobium and from mesenteric veins, it lies uh, the eggs and ventilate the intestine and go to the um, stool, which is just soma mansum. They are not a species, each one has uh, its a species and intermediate host. Uh, these are the intermediate hosts, which are the snails which lives in in uh, non-salted water in the river water we have three types of snails all over the world which is the most famous which is Biomflari and Exanderine and this is Bolinus uh, Tranquitas present in Egypt and one for uh, Shisuma uh, Japonica which is uh, uh, living in uh, uh, the countries of uh, East Asia, in Japan, uh, China, Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, and so Okay, where there is a rivers, it is not living in salt water. Okay, very important. So uh, this is uh, the. Uh, types and species of uh, schistosomiasis uh, and there are many uh, other types and there are many many other intermediate hosts all over the world but the, these are the most famous one which we can uh, know okay here in Egypt we have high very high prevalence of schistomyces, uh, either hematobium, which is more prevalent than mansoni. Hematobium first live in the upper Egypt and mansoni in the lower Egypt delta. But due to environmental changes, the after the high dam, mansoni migrating to some parts of upper Egypt especially Giza and Fayoum and find the cases and reaches up to many and assume and find cases of Shisoma Mansoni there. Uh, the living habitat and the environment for Shisoma Hematobian differ completely from Shisoma Mansoni. All are living in the Nile but uh, their preferences and environmental preferences differ so much so we find hematobia mainly in upper Egypt and mansoni mainly in 
lower issue. So, very important here, very important information. If there animal is a bar for Shisuma, yes, it's very important. Yes, we find here in Egypt, we have race. Race are very important reservoir for schismizers in Egypt. And they kept the cycle from Pharaoh's time, ancient Egypt, to now. Because rats are living mainly on the shores of the Nile and can be infected with schismizers like men and keep the cycle in the environment. So, one of the important control measures is the control of rats. Okay, rats living on the shores of the night to completely uh, cut the cycle of infection. Here, in short, we have eggs passing in urine or stool. If they found their intermediate host, which is the uh, by the infecting uh, uh, the infecting stage which is the melasidia this is the infective for the intermediate host not for, for men okay it will penetrate its and uh, re-modulate re in the uh, the snail tissue and produce which is called a sporocyst okay very hundreds of sporocysts from one snail and which develop to cercaria. The cercaria is a free swimming, is a free swimming cercaria living in water. If they find their definitive host, which is men, they penetrate his skin and complete the cycle, mature into the adult worms and complete the cycle. Very important steps here we found because if we have the intermediate host cycle will be complete. So one of the control measures will be control of the intermediate host. How they control very very uh, famous is the chemical control by Nicholas Lemire. But there is a very attempted successful attempt for biological control and cleaning of the environment because these snails live in shed and in area where uh, trees and plants are present in water so uh, removal of plants from river nile especially drains where they they live because the velocity of the current is very low so they prefer drains which is called aqanawet walaysat al-tara aqanawet drains drains wahi al-masarif al-masarif al-zara'iya the agriculture drains and the uh, small canals they, uh, they live in these areas which can infect men when he get contact with the small canals and the drains in the villages okay you, it's, so one of the famous controls is the snail control the snails the circari live about 72 hours about three days if they not found a man which is a definitive host they can't they die they can't uh, live stand with the stand living and they die so it is very important if we have a successful control program to prevent men from contact with water okay very important uh, feature here when uh, the men uh, get in contact with water the circari get in contact with his skin when the water evaporates from the skin, the circari ventris. So if we uh, dry the skin very rapidly, we can uh, prevent circari from ventilation. This is very important issue 
to inform the uh, people who live in water as uh, fishermen's farmers if they need to be in contact with water via their occupation they can believe they can uh, dry their uh, skin very rapidly when get in contact with water if semen is not urinating or defecating in water the cycle will be prevented and breaked so it is very important message important health education message to people who live in villages around the shores of the uh, river canals to not defecate and urinate in water they can do latrines which is very far from the water not in contact and uh, do their urination and uh, defecation uh, apart from water very important point here is the children because this uh, disease have a golden age which is from 5 to 15 which is the age of school children who get in contact with water for swimming recreation there is a spontaneous urination from the swimmer if he get in contact with water so very important point here in his education to avoid the bladder before in contact with water also very important was the ideal is to prevent the children from getting with water for recreation here in control measures we can give another uh, or another uh, alternative which for recreation instead of uh, shores and instead of uh, river uh, Nile river okay so from point of view of control we can line the shores of the Nile with cement place issues and making it a step to prevent the children from getting into it and the adult of course so it is very important to make the shoes cemented and step and قائمة وليست متدركة عشان نمنع الأطفال إنهم ينزلوا التبع So here we find another age in the latest years which is above 60. I, I, I think that it is because of lower immunity as that age uh, increased prevalence of HCV um, which makes the liver very liable to be uh, deteriorated if it is uh, getting uh, schistomyces and the most important is that the social habit of getting to the field now by the old age men and because the uh, young age men go to uh, factories or uh, another business rather than agriculture very important is the social habits of the population Um, it is more prevalent in summer because of the presence uh, is because of uh, the uh, environment is warm which develops the snails and also increasing quality of the health services will uh, improve the condition if present but it is now uh, the government succeeded making us free of schistomyces we called it elimination it is not an eradication because as i said 
there is an intermediate host which is the snail which is present all the time in its habitat in water and there is an animal host definitive host as, as human which is the rats so we find here a very low prevalence of schistomyces in Egypt but it is not eradicated completely it is eliminated and the muscle is free from bilharzia at uh, 2008 uh, eight. Uh, so uh, 2008 and from this time it is very uh, low prevalence in Egypt couldn't uh, increase more than 2% in the endemic areas here the clinical picture is uh, uh, will be discussed in medicine and but the diagnosis here we uh, by demonstration of the X by demonstration of the X in the stolen or, uh, or urine so their uh, uh, investigation in the rural labs is very important primary health care in Egypt is responsible for endemic disease control so uh, the detection of schistomyces X in the rural health units and treatment of those infected is very important step in the control. Uh, another test is immunological test depending on ELISA, uh, ultrasonography for the liver uh, uh, and for uh, the kidneys and for the bladder to show calcification and complication of the disease. The most important cause of cancer bladder in Egypt is schistosomiasis and the most important cause for liver fibrosis and development of liver cirrhosis on the top of fibrosis by HCV is also schistosomiasis. Now for investigation also is the molecular techniques okay so by PCR so it is very important to diagnose uh, in, in the past, it is uh, a community-wide uh, control program depending on case finding and treatment for school children or the school children in the rural units and uh, 10 size total population sample survey in the, in the uh, rural areas, 10% of the population every month to be investigated for Schistomyces and treated, and in uh, the years before declaration of uh, Egypt free of Belharsia, there is a mass treatment of the school children by uh, the anti schistosomal drug, which is Braziquantil, which is very easy in its application because it is uh, tapless. So, for our prevention, it is very important to water supply and sanitary supply for latrines. Okay, so very important to have pure water and sanitary supply. So, uh, development of recreational areas and health education of the public by the points I. Iris, which is uh, prevention of defecation urination if they are obliged to use water canal water they can uh, uh, dry their skin very early and uh, remove their colosis with colosis and uh, they can uh, uh, wear high shoes to prevent the contact of their uh, feet and legs. Vaccines are under ties, not present in the market. Okay, so we have the control, case finding, mass treatment, and the examination for urine and the stool, and the health education and snail clearance here. In uh, for snail clearance, uh, the public and NGOs have a great deal to remove the uh, dust from the river Nile 
uh, in the form of uh, uh, plastics, uh, in the form of uh, uh, plants, very important to this issue is very important and will prevent accumulation and uh, not availing the habitat for just meals. We have a Shosomites survey in Egypt. In the in, in, in past and until now, from now and then, we have a survey to show the magnitude of the problem and to, uh, to identify the ecological factors behind endemicity. For the uh, survey to be conducted, mapping is very important for the environmental factor as water and latrines, presence of water channels, drain, ethnic distribution and intensity in water channels. This is done by special ecological studies. We also study the population characteristic from uh, demographic point of view as age and sex occupation had socio-economic cultural conditions. Uh, studies the available health service and utilization and very bear your required resources for investigation as lab equipment, transportation, questionnaires and so on and do your investigation by urine and stool. Intradermal test is uh, uh, done only for pus infection to show the prevalence, but it couldn't uh, diagnose recent infection. Then do data presentation and interpretation. The uh, recent diagnostic techniques as ELISA, as PCR, is very informative in low and messy area like Egypt. Thank you for your attention and be aware that if control measures couldn't maintained, we can have a high prevalence again of schistomiasis because the snail host and the animal host which is a race is still present in our environment. Thank you for your attention.